Okay. In this lab, we're going to be looking at using alternate data streams. Uh, you know, leading up lecture-wise, we've been talking about hiding and talking about cloaking and steganography and all of that stuff. So we're just going to utilize just windows to do some hiding here. And what we're going to be utilizing is alternate data streams, which is basically inherent in every version of NTFS released by Microsoft. And this includes, uh, you know, if you're at home, you're running Windows 7, you're running Windows XP, Windows Vista, doesn't matter which version. As long as it's NTFS, uh, you know, this technique we're about to examine here works. So all I'm doing is, uh, you know, creating a directory here. It looks like the ADS directory is already there. All right, so let's just go ahead and change to it. I guess we could have did Dell Tree and got to it. But either way, um, and the only reason we're making a directory name ADS here is just so we have a clean directory we're working in so that you can go back and undo this stuff if you need to do that. Now, first off, you know, this is not a Windows command line class. So uh, just follow along with the techniques. And if you want to know more about the Windows command line, uh, you should probably, you know, sign up for our ethical hacking online or something like that because we do lots of command line stuff. But basically, I'm using the echo command here and I'm creating a file. And the words I want to, or the text I want to have in that file is tech support doc. And I'm going to name the file temp.txt. So that's what this command right here does. That's all it does. All right, so we just created a text file. And if we read it with the more command, we can see that it includes that text, tech support doc. Now, concerning alternate data streams, we're just going to do something else. We're going to write drugs at 55 lon 43 lat. And we're given a location of where the drugs are to Cheech or Chong or whoever might be reading this. Now, notice we're doing temp.txt ads.txt. What we basically just did there is we wrote drugs at 55 line, 543 lat into the attribute section of this file. And if you notice with my directory here, we don't even see uh, that adx.txt file there because as far as Windows is concerned, it doesn't exist as data because what we did was we wrote that data into the attribute section. Now, even if we tried to read it, if we tried to read more temp.adtext, Notice Windows can't access it because, again, as far as Windows is concerned, it's not really there. Now, what we can do to read the secret data that we've hidden here, and you have to imagine, you know, forensically, if someone's just looking at this directory, looking at this drive, they're using Windows Explorer, using DOS, or, you know, most carving utilities, all it's going to show you is the carrier file. But we can trick more, the more command, by using is less than and then put the name of the ADS file and then put is greater than and we're going to write that out to another file name open like so that's going to write the contents of temp.txt colon adx.txt to another file now we can use our more command and simply read the contents of open.txt which is what we extracted out of ads.txt, temp.txt, ads.txt. So, you know, the implications are are very uh, wide here. We could write anything we wanted into this alternate data stream. Now, in one of the bonus labs, what I do is I'll do a scan, you know, an nmap scan, and then we'll look at that. Now, let's look at how to find these streams when they're created, because you can't do it from looking at Windows Explorer, uh, you know, and any of these other ways of looking for files. You know, really, the only way to do it is use a tool specifically designed to look for these, and we're using ADS Spy. Now, what it does here is it can scan the entire system, but we're just going to scan the folder that we created in the uh, effort to save time here. And we scan, and you can see it immediately finds that alternate data stream that we created. And we can do things like view the contents of what that stream has in it. Uh, we could save it to a clipboard. 
uh, the Windows clipboard so we could copy and paste it. So, for example, if we say view stream contents, it shows us exactly what's in the file. We could also copy it, we could save it to a disk, and we could edit it uh, in a text editor. In this case, WordPad is the default text editor that ADS Spy is going to point to. So, you know, some very nifty stuff there you can do as far as cloaking and hiding that's not even related to uh, having a special tool to hide stuff. You can just do it within Windows. And one last thing I would like to point out here is if you've ever... Um, you know, scanned a machine looking, getting rid of viruses and Trojans and things like that because maybe they had uh, Kazaa or some P2P software running. If you think you got everything off of it and you didn't look for alternate data streams, I can guarantee you that you didn't get everything. So it's going to be important, uh, you know, going forward as you scan machines and look for viruses and things like that, that you also look for alternate data streams because all of the well-known uh, P2P softwares write alternate data stream versions of the tracking and cookies and stuff like that that it puts on your machine. If you don't utilize a technique like this to look for them, you'll never ever know that they're there. So hopefully this lab was helpful to you and uh, you can take this and maybe just go scan your own machine now for eight alternate data streams and you'll probably find some uh, because as it stands, Windows creates some alternate data streams it's on its own. So thanks for uh, going through this lab. Take some time, get comfortable with it because there's lots of uses for this technique.